I'd just like to sort of share it, because I think it may be self-evident, in which case my apologies, but if it's not, I think it may totally change the way you're thinking about what you're doing. What he said was as follows. I met him on a Monday morning. He had just come back from doing a lecture tour of the US. I had flown out from England and was in Cork, and we went and did ward rounds in what was called St. Finbar's Hospital in Cork, the old one. And after we went round in those more gentle days, we sat down, we had coffee, and we were talking. And he said to me, you may not have noticed, but as I went round, I touched every patient. I may have shaken somebody's hand, may have just suddenly in the bed, just held their ankle for a moment, may have patted them on the back, and he washed his hands and did to make sure he wasn't spreading infection. <laughs> but what he said is that no patient should ever feel they're untouchable. And it stuck with me that it's a really important thing. So if you'd like, the one thing I'm going to try and say to you, and I'll spend the next 40 minutes saying in different ways and expanding, is that if this is going to be as, success, success, as successful as we all think it's going to be, and know it's going to be, then its success is going to be dependent upon the ability to touch the patient. Now, obviously, you know, the ways in which you can think about these technologies have in haptic applications that could do so. But if you think more broadly about that sense of touching a patient. So it's something ever since it's been part of what I've done in terms of healthcare and change. And for the last 24, 25 years, a lot of what I've been doing has been how we move healthcare from hospitals into other settings. I was in Hawaii working with somebody there 